Mr. T. Welcome to our unit here on conics. This uh, video will talk about an introduction to what conics are. Conics are geometrical shapes and we'll be working with these four shapes. Uh, you can see here parabolas, circles, ellipses, and hyperbola. The name conic comes from how these shapes are formed uh, in space and in the video here that you'll see uh, a demonstration of how they are formed. Here you see that we have two cones that are pointing next to each other, so a cone and an inverted cone, and we have a plane that is slicing through the cones. So as we move the plane around, the intersection between the plane and the cones form shapes, and those are called conics. So the shape name or conics comes from the intersection of the plane and the cone. When the plane is perpendicular to the cones, we get a circle and depending on where it intersects the size of the circle could change. As we tilt the plane, we can form the other shape. So as we start to tilt, the circle now becomes an ellipse and we can get different dimensions of the ellipse as we uh, move our plane, both sliding the plane up and down and the tilt value. If we continue with the tilt, we get to a point where the uh, plane is only intersecting one of the cones, in which case, but it's coming out the top of the cone and we get a parabola. And finally, as the plane tilts a little further, it now intersects both the upper and lower cone and we form this shape called a hyperbola. So these shapes are formed again by the intersection of a cone and a plane and that's where the term conic comes from. In this unit though we will be exploring these shapes not so much from the geometrical definition but from how we can represent these uh, shapes using algebraic equations. Uh, we will learn how to graph the equations and how to, given a shape or given information about a geometrical shape, write its equation. On the conic sections, uh, the formal definitions for these involve distances between either fixed points and other points on the outline, or in one case, the distance between a fixed point and a line. So we want to review how can we calculate the distance between two points. We use the distance formula for that, which is shown here. Basically, we subtract the two x values and square that number. We subtract the two y values and square that number, add them together, and then square root to get our distance. An example shown here, are, here are our two points. If we plug those into the distance formula and then simplify, we get square root of 125 which reduces to 5 radical 5 for our exact value and using a calculator we can get an approximate distance of 11.18 units. Now, the distance between a point and a line is uh, maybe a little bit more complicated. It ends up being sim simple but we just can't use that formula we had. But when we measure a distance between a point and a line we have to measure it on a perpendicular line that's from our point and then perpendicular to our target line. On our cases, the lines that we are measuring to are going to either be horizontal or vertical. So if we look at the picture here, here's our target line and our point, so we need to form a vertical line as you can see here. The intersection point of where the vertical line intersects our line I've shown here. You can see that the x-coordinates in these case when we have horizontal lines match. So to get this distance we just have to subtract the uh, two y-coordinates. And distance is always a positive number so we'll just take the absolute value here. Depending on whether the point is above or below the line we might get a negative number. So in this case our distance between this uh, given point here and the line is six units. Likewise for a a vertical line, you can see that this intersection point and our target point are on the same horizontal line. 
So to find the distance, we're going to be taking the difference of the two x values and then taking the absolute value to get our distance of 7. <laughs>